Hi, so now for this one, it says Sam buys an eight year, 5,000 par bound with the Macaulay duration. Okay, so Macaulay duration is involved and the word par is involved. So what does that mean? Well, to make our lives similar, uh, simpler, we know that the MACD of a par value bond will always use the annuity due equation, correct? So now it says that the bond sells for 5,000, let D1 be the just before the first coupon main, and let D2 be the Macaulay just after the first. So calculate, okay. So now, first and foremost, we need to first find what is occurring at time zero? What is the general Macaulay duration, right? So that would be denoted as what is occurring at time zero, right? Basically the present value of it all. I think of Macaulay duration as just very fancy form of present value. Anyway, for this one, it says, Sam buys an eight year. Okay, so now we could use the annuity due of 5% in eight years, right? So now let's calculate this, right? I'll just get rid of the annuity due, multiply by 1.05. Okay, so first part is. This is 6.46, so. Sorry. 6.783. Now for this part, for D, so now, yeah. So now we wanna find D1 and D2, right? D1 and D2. So when you think of the timeline, we know that what is occurring here is at zero, right? Now we wanna find the duration at one and we also wanna find the duration at two, right? So in terms of Macaulay duration, we always, when we wanna find the duration from one time to the other, we always use the concept of the passage of time. What I mean by that is that since we need to find D1, we want to find the Macaulay duration of here. We already found the Macaulay duration here. So what we're going to do to find D1 is that we are going to take this amount and subtract it by one to get the get, uh, 5.783 right now for duration two we one year has passed right so we could just use this equation again for seven years left so let's get rid of the annuity dues right and multiply it by 1.05 so payment the number of years so five. Five point seventy nine. Okay, so five point seventy nine times gonna be six point zero seven nine five. So now D one and D two, we're gonna have to divide both of these and now we're gonna get We're going to end up getting 0.951229. So that is going to be our answer.